Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I are back out on the range with some cowboy frying pans. This is what we got for you guys today. We got 34 cowboy frying pans and we want to see how far different 308 rounds can go through those. So the rounds we got for you guys today, we got four rounds. We got the good 308 ball round. Then we're gonna do the EP round, enhanced performance round. Then we got the M993. This has a tungsten core in it. And then we got the bad boy of them all, the 308 slap round. So I'm, I'm not sure if they'll all go all the way through. They didn't go all the way through on the 50 license plates, much thinner though, so I don't know. And we had them stacked pretty tight, so I'm not sure. But we're gonna try this out, so stick around, but first a word from our sponsor. Hey everybody, this video is brought to you by AccuCraft Sight Pusher. This is an amazing tool. If you use iron sights on your handguns, this is the tool you need in your toolbox. I didn't know I needed this thing until they sent it to me to do this commercial. I'm so glad they did, and it's in my favorite color, so thank you guys for that. We're giving one of these bad boys away completely free, so make sure you stay around to the end of this ad to find out how you can win one of these. All right, super simple to use. Simply disassemble your firearm, put your slide in here. The rear sight is on the flat side, front sight is on the groove side. They have lines in the inside here to help you get it perfectly straight, and also these adjustments, tightening screws here, if you wanna call it, to get it perfectly straight. You don't want it canted at all when you're trying to remove, install, or adjust your sights. So this has a height adjustment screw here and lockdown screws. You can use it out here at the range like I'm doing or put it in your vise at the shop. No more needing a hammer or a punch to remove, install, or adjust your sights. This bad boy does it all. It's very well engineered, very smooth, easy to use. If your sights are canted, um, no problem. They got that covered. You simply use the tool kit that they gave you and uh, you just pull this off, turn it over, and um, you can just use it on flat sights, canted sights, whatever. This thing is an amazing tool I think everybody needs. All right, you wanna win one of these bad boys? Comment below and just simply tell me why you need this. We will pick one lucky winner and we will send this to you absolutely free. If you don't win, click the link in the description below and get your AccuCraft sight pusher today. Stay on target, everybody. Use AccuCraft. All right, so first round versus the cowboy frying pans is just gonna be your you know, 308 ball round. Then we'll move on to the more interesting ones. I made a tiny little dot on the pan as a reference. Let's see if I can stack it on that dot. Well, I guess I should probably do that, huh? Yes, stacked it right on top of that dot. Clear. So more good shooting from Justin. He hit right on the dot. We wanted to hit right here on this one and see how many went through. Went through 19 pans. Pretty cool, man. But I don't see, of course, no, none of the bullet. Well, that might be it. It's got some heat to it, but not too much to uh, pull an Edwin and burn me. But it is it is warm. Cool. All right, next round, let's do it. So next round up versus the cowboy frying pans is the EP round. It's got the steel tip core combo. I don't know, you can probably look it up and find out. Actually, you know what? Here, look. I don't know if it's in focus. Looks cool though. Let me get back here. Yeah. See that steel tip slash core? Enhanced performance round. 
now that I'm done rambling, let's uh, achieve some penetration. Let's see how much, much more it'll go than the ball round. All right, hit on target, clear. So we hit right on the other mark again. This is right where we wanted to hit. It went in straight and um, like this one here, it's kind of weird, started to tumble right there and then some other marks. And then on this one back here, it broke into, looks like three pieces and well, more than three pieces, but three bigger chunks. Because then it goes into three separate holes. And then back to two, that piece lost momentum on this one. Then it goes two holes, two holes, two holes. Eh. Don't cut yourself. I know. Then it goes back to one hole, and this is the where the last or the second piece lost its momentum. And it kept going through this last one here, and then just put a ding on this one. I don't think we could find that. That'd be pretty cool to find it, but so the EP round went through 22 and the ball round went through uh, 19. So yeah, it is uh, enhanced, just a wee little. <laughs> cool, let's check out the M993 now. That's, that's uh, one I'm waiting for is these last two, so let's do it. All right, so next round is the M993, which has the, it's indicated by the black tip, also has a tungsten core. Now I would hope it would go through more than the EPR, but we're about to find out, I guess. We're going to do it together. All right, right on target. All right, right on target. That was good. Clear. So staying on target, Justin hit right there. There was his little dot. So hit right here and it went through 25 pans. It's pretty impressive. It didn't actually quite go through this one, but it did bust a hole in the back. So it wouldn't be good to cook some bacon grease in or your eggs might run out. That was pretty cool. Freaking love that man. Just the way right through there. Okay. Now we're going to get on to the round I know all you guys have been waiting for because I've been waiting for it too. So let's check out that slap round. All right, so now it's time for the famed slap round. And as a safety precaution, we took the muzzle brake off. We don't with our 50 because we have a, an insert that allows us to shoot the slap without taking it off because it just hurts too much to shoot that 50 without a brake. All right, I hope this one travels straight. And I hope it goes all the way through, but we're about to find out. That was pretty close to where I was aiming. That's a tiny hole. Clear. Well, that was a little disappointing. Um, it went through less pans than the than the regular round did. Um, it went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, only thirteen plates. Or excuse me, here's the thirteenth pan. And it's got these tiny holes in it, but that's it.
and then it looks like after the looks like the fifth fourth pan it started to break up because there's a little bit of holes over here on the pan and then and it just gets bigger from there on out. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then here's the tenth. <laughs> it's just pushing junk through at that time. That's insane, man. All right, Justin, I don't think there was enough carnage done to these frying pans here. So we're gonna bust out the 50 BMG and we're gonna shoot it with the Russian API round. See what that bad boy does to it. Here we go. All right, so super excited to hear Chris say we're gonna shoot some, some 50 again. We got the Russian API versus the, the pans. I don't get in there. Let's make some big holes. Ready? Ready for a skadoosh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Clear. So we hit kind of on the same hole as the, um, I think that was the M993 that hit here but it blew through 30 pans. <laughs> it definitely probably caught some of the same hole on some of these, but it definitely made its own path once it kept going. I mean, <laughs> yeah, come around this side, Justin, check that out. The way it turned the plates. But that's what we got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that was super cool. I enjoy the carnage at the end there. Thank you guys for all your support, our patrons. Again, if you want to be a patron, a buck a month helps out so much. And we just thank you guys for everything you guys do for us. We'll be back.